Hey guys, what's up? Um, it has been a minute. It has been two months since I had my drainless tummy tuck um, with muscle repair. I had it on November 22nd and yesterday made two months and um, it's been good. Everything is going well. I'm healing well. Um, I started exercising. Uh, it was something that I really wanted to do. Started tone to tone and everything. Um, uh, the doctor gave me the okay to go ahead full force. But in return, I kind of hurt myself. I may have went a little too far. Um, even though he said it was okay, um, I should have kind of listened to my body because my body was telling me to sit my ass down. And um, although I was doing the modified version, I, I was doing Shanti T25. I was doing the modified version instead of the um, instead of following him. He has an interpreter that does everything low impact. And so I was like, okay, well, since I'm doing the modified version, let me go ahead and give it my all while I'm doing the modified. And I think I went a little bit too hard. I felt something kind of pop in the middle, per se, um, like 10 minutes almost to finishing the, um, the video. And I just, I just kept going and I kept going. But when I got finished, I kind of felt some type of throbbing some type of throbbing and some a burning sensation behind the belly button um so you know i took it easy that the rest of the night the next day is kind of when i felt it um i became very swollen it was very very hard behind the belly button um i almost felt like something was trying to eat through my belly button and it it was very it was tingly and it was very irritating um nothing that wasn't tolerable but it was very it was an uncomfortable pain so i was kind of worried that i might possibly possibly have seroma um which is a collection of fluid that you can get after um major surgeries or plastic surgeries or whatever um it's when certain blood vessels pop and they'll rupture causing a collection of fluid which is called seroma so you know I, I did my little test and what you do is you lay back on your stomach and you kind of press up against your your stomach and if it makes a ripple of effect across your stomach from one end to the other then that means you had some type of collection of fluid in there so I didn't see that ripple effect so I was kind of um, I was happy about that I called my plastic surgeon the next day that Friday spoke to the nurse let her know what happened she was like you probably just pushed a little too hard she asked me because I, 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 I told her I was thinking that I might have seroma she was like I don't think so but when she was like do you press it does it feel like a waterbed and do you see the same thing that I saw do you that I did not see which was the ripple effect I was like no I didn't see that um she said well go ahead and take it easy uh stop exercising for a little while um put your compression binder back on which I was already wearing but <laughs> I didn't stop wearing it um and she takes it to take a leave 800 milligrams three times a day and pretty much take it easy she said if I'm not feeling better that Monday by that Monday to give her a call we'll come in do an ultrasound that's kind of that's the second way you can determine whether you have seroma and if there was a collection of fluid it would have had to be um uh aspirated through my belly button and oh my god that's not something that I wanted to go through so I did what she said Monday I was feeling good I didn't get back to exercising what I kind of should have did was <clears throat> started doing the elliptical or something or getting on the treadmill or something like that and gradually worked myself up into something more high intensity. So um, I'm just giving myself a little break. You know, I, I, I just feel real uncomfortable not doing anything. So um, but I am going to take it easy. So that's the gist of that. What's been going on? Um... I still can't sleep on my stomach. It still hurts to sleep on it. I can sleep on my side. Um, that's fine. Uh, I still get I still get numbness uh, around my belly button. 
I still get the numbness and I can't feel anything. There's no sensation there. Um, I stopped wearing the tape, but let me tell you, it itches like hell. The incision and you know, that was one of the reasons why I liked wearing the tape. One, two, it keeps this incision flat. And when I start to itch, I don't want to scratch my incision because it's still tender. It's still soft. And it's like, what do I do? What do I do? So that the tape kind of was, you know, the protection against me scratching it because it itches so much. But I wanted to give my incision um, a break and let it you know air and you know do my scar therapy and everything but I tell you sometimes the itching is so bad I just feel like I have scabies or something I swear I just be itching all over and then it then it gets down to the pubic hairline and it, everything just starts itching like crazy you you think I had crabs or something that's how much it itches so um uh let's see what else? I can't take a sh I can't take a sit down bath, which that's fine. But sometimes you just want to soak, um, cause I, I just don't care for sitting in dirty water. But sometimes I, I would like to soak and then you know take a shower afterwards. But I can't for six months. Um, what else? Sex. Sex is okay, um, except for that you can't. Sex is great. <laughs> It, but when I say it's okay, it's because you, you can't lay exactly on my stomach. The pressure is too much. So you kind of have to, you know, kind of use your imagination to make certain positions better for you, I'm going to say. But <laughs> what's funny is I was told that um, that it's it's not, and we're all adults here, I was told that it's not meaty anymore. <laughs> It's, I was told that it feels bony. It feels hard now. So, you know, not only did I do get a tummy tuck because, you know, once they cut the middle of that flap off, they pull it down. And then when, when they, you know, stitch it back up, they're pulling up from the pubic line to, to, uh, suture you back up. So, Pretty much the vagina pubic area lifts up. So not only did I get a tummy tuck, my vajayjay got a facelift. <laughs> and so it was like, okay, well, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. And it's not going to get meaty again, I don't think. No. And so, you know, that was the only complaint that I had, you know, as far as the... Um, as far as the sex goes, that it's it's not meaty anymore. <laughs> Silly. Okay, we got two minutes. I got I got two more minutes because I don't want to make this video long. Um, my girl Starch out. She sent me this, which is the Skin Print Healing Serum. Now I knew going into this that it was not may not work for me as best it, as it worked for her. Um, as I was just using this alone, the scar was healing well. But it wasn't getting lighter. It didn't start getting lighter until I was um, till I started using the make a paste using the raw shea butter, the African shea butter, and castor oil. I heard castor oil was very good for healing, and I would use cocoa butter also, which my phone is sitting on top of, and I would just make a paste and I would just massage the um, the the scar in. And that's when I start seeing a big difference that my my scar would get lighter. So I'm getting ready to pull the phone down and um, show you the incision. But let me get myself together first, cause uh, I can't let you see my poom poom. And I'm still swollen, of course, still swollen. That's a process, we know. And pull the phone down. All right, so it's getting lighter. And I'll put some before and after pictures in here. It's 
much, much lighter. And the, it stops right here, right above the pubic line. So I can't go any further down. So I think it's healing very well. The belly button looks good. See, it's kind of jiggly right here. That still means I have some um, some swelling there. And I'm very, very, very pleased um, with the results. So pretty much what I do, I still use it because I still pay for it. So I um, kind of put a couple squirts in there. I just put my finger in there and I'll get some cocoa butter, put my finger in there, get a little shea butter, pour a little castor oil in there. I use this castor oil and shea butter for my hair and when I was reading it on the bottle and on the top of the lid, how it said it was good for uh, healing and scars and everything. So, I just kind of massage it in. So, it gives a lot of moisture. Has a lot of vitamin E in there. Great for healing. And um, that's pretty much it. That's how it looks. <laughs> I'm silly. But that's it. And that's pretty much how my scar looks. And I walk around at the house with my yoga pants on and my little my little top and kids tell me can you put some clothes on I'm like no I want to show off my stomach and they're like no you're too old to be looking like that but I was like wait till the summer i be wearing my midriffs and they're like no mom no you're not <laughs> they didn't already told me read me my rights told me I'm not wearing a, a, a bikini all that I said, if y'all gonna get up out of here with that foolishness and mayhem and go somewhere. But um, um, next appointment is February 27th. That's my three-month post-op with um, my plastic surgeon. I think that's my last visit with him. He'll do um, after photos, and he'll give me the before and after uh, photos, I guess, when everything gets done. And I think that will be my last appointment with him. And so uh, this has been a great experience. Um, enjoy sharing it with you. It's not over. Like I said, I'm only going to do videos like once a month, all the way up into a year, just to show the progress. And um, other than that, I'm going to leave it here. If you have any questions, as always.